What's going on, Jerome's? So, would have had this video out last night, except I'll, I'll be fully honest. I, I went to bed at halftime because I was drained uh, from a, a long couple days of the NFL draft. And, you know, the Wolves, it, it was a close game throughout. And I was just thinking, all right, whatever happens, happens. It was meant to be, right? And waking up, <sighs> beautiful. First sweep in Wolves, Twins, and Wild history. It's a fantastic time. It, like, it's. The, those jabronis have had 67 game series opportunities. The first sweep, foe, 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 foe. That's why the Viking, uh, Vikings, the the basketball Vikings are going to do it. Now, I'll, I'll admit. So I woke up to an ESPN alert and, and you know looking at it like with one eye open, just like Timber. I saw Timberwolves knee injury. No, no. And then it turned out it was Finchy. <laughs> He'll be good to go. The Wolves will win him a, a title on a rascal or whatever. He'll he'll be fine. But uh, your Timberwolves win. Eclipse the Suns 122 to 116, which I don't know, man. It feels like Kevin Durant, yes, he was part of the Warriors, but he's been a part of some very poop super teams. The Nets, not so much. And then now the Suns, nah. nah, nah. I, again, you know, Frank Vogel, Vogel's a defensive guy. So why the hell they get Durant and Bradley Beal and Devin Booker together? It's just ridiculous. Like, hey, Devin Booker. Devin Booker is too good to be such a baby back biatch. Like, he had the quietest 49 points in NBA history. It was just ridiculous. But, uh, you, ooh, Canterbury Crossing, Freedom Series. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Pop-ups are out of control nowadays. Anyways, but Anthony Edwards is a real story here. Basically buried the lead. Oh, by the way, I've been trying to find the the, the Georgia Red uh, a, 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 AE shoes, but we're always out of stock happens man but anthony edwards ascending oh, oh, oh and by the way giving uh booker a haircut which is funny on 17 different levels but uh anthony edwards 49 and 6 to close out uh the series and also very efficient 13 and 23 from the field 7 to 10 from three basically in the second half is just like f you f your mom f your face f everyone we're gonna take this over and we're not settling for five we're certainly not selling for six we're ending this now again a couple days of rest as we wait for the winner of the nuggets and the lakers so it's awesome it's just freaking awesome man and the, the whole thing about it is everyone accepts his greatness now with minnesota sports there's always like the the minnesota sports tax where they're putting their thumb down on the scale uh where you have to be a very special talent to rise above that. Like Justin Jefferson is one of those freak show talents that the national media can't deny. But the fact that Anthony Edwards, everyone is just like, he's basically Michael Jordan and no one is like, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that says a lot. <laughs> I think that says a lot, man. And as we said, like you know, the vibe from Edwards this year, it was like late 80s Jordan, where he's just getting the team around him. He's got the Pippen. He's got the Ho Grant. He's got the Bill Cartwright. Got everything going in the right direction. And going from a high-flying score to a truly dominant, transcendent playoff uh, monster. That's what we're watching. That's what we're watching right now. Or, hell, we, we could be watching 91 Jordan right now. <laughs> no, no big deal. Uh, and, and like we said, the fact that no one says BS... In terms of uh, w whenever we talk about Anthony Edwards basically being Michael Jordan's, well, I'm going to say era pair of fun. <laughs> the internet is so funny in terms of conspiracy theory. Just like, could he be his son? I don't know. I don't, but uh, the, the fact that no one's like, hey, hold on. Anthony Edwards is not Michael Jordan. I think that says a lot. And now we are mere weeks, weekos away from the future of, uh, the well, the current face of the NBA and the current face of the NFL being locked into Minnesota long term and they want to be here it's going to drive the national media hate haters and losers nuts absolutely is man but uh yeah this game Edwards taking over dominating in that second half and also got to make sure that cat gets his flowers because Carl Anthony Towns has been impressive on so many levels number 1 buying into the team, adjusting his role. Uh, because yeah, a lot of superstars of Towns' caliber, you know, when basically he was asked to, hey, you're going to be second fiddle to Edwards and you're going to do uh, a lot of dirty work, uh, he could just been like, trade, trade, check please, trade, 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 trade. Uh, and the fact that this team, where they were last year, you know, with Rudy shoving Kyle Anderson in the huddle and McDaniels punching the walls and stuff, how they've come together and gelled and played – 
They play fun, fast, free, open basketball and the toughest ass defense that you've seen in a decade in the NBA. It's amazing, man. And, and with Car- with, with uh, Cat, so you know, put up twenty eight and ten, like a, a very quiet twenty eight ten. But again, him coming back from the meniscus, you were thinking that okay, maybe he'll just hang around the perimeter. No, he's putting in that work. That knee looks good to go, and his rebounding really was a difference in this series. It, it was the game changer, right? Uh, nah, I mean, Nasar had a quiet night, but uh, I believe he set a record in terms of plus minus uh, in a seven game series, which is fantastic. And like I said, the, the Wolves are the deepest team in the league. Like, we haven't really had the, the Nas Reed, Nas Reed game yet. It's coming. It's coming against against the Nuggets, against the Thunder, against the Celtics. It, it's coming where you're going to have the, the 28 and 10 Nas Reed night. Actually, probably against the, the Nuggets. Uh, since now is probably going to get a lot more run uh, going big. Uh, but, I mean, uh, on any given night, someone is going to step up and do amazing things. It's going to be Nah. It's going to be McDaniels. Uh, Rudy's going to have just a monster type game at some point. Conley's probably going to go off uh, at some point. And it's awesome. And plus, your know, deepest team in the league, best half-court defense in the league, best transition defense in the league, and wh- what do you need in the playoffs more than uh, great defense uh, as well as someone who can just completely take over at a moment's notice? That's what, th- that's what the, the basketball Vikings have. Plus, they're completely unselfish. I, you, you could tell, like, the, the Suns are a loose collection of individuals. Like, the, the Suns are a bunch of mercenaries tossed together, right? And you look at the way that the Wolves have been constructed. You look at the way that respect of the Nuggets have been constructed. And it's all about homegrown talent that fits together. Like the, the super team model, I mean, it works when you have prime Steph and prime Clay and prime Durant. But otherwise, uh, I don't know. It hasn't worked out very well uh, nowadays because NBA teams are just putting together guys that were really good five, ten years ago and hope that it works out. Like they're assembling big three teams is what they're doing but the wolves knocking on all the wood i mean you got the nuggets next in all likelihood unless lebron comes back from uh 3-0 or 3 which would be insane uh and hey jokic joker i'm a midnight toker bring it bring it that, that's all man but uh, again the fact that we are literally just witnessing greatness at every single game and you know people nowadays they're prone to hating but the fact that Anthony Edwards is nearly universally beloved, I think that says a lot. I think it says a lot, a lot, man. And now, bring on Denver. In all likelihood, bring it on, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Wolves sweep the Suns. Anthony Edwards is him. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. You guys know what to do. Basketball skull, production value.